Here at the Matawar House of Hope in Martin, they're preparing for the cold weather. They're taking in folks who need shelter and they're doing it as quickly as they can. Homeless, not helpless. This is the first thing you'll read if you visit the Floyd County Homeless Shelter's website. And it puts this into practice each day with space available now. Most of the summer, we have anywhere from 60 to 75 homeless people just in Floyd County that are out. In wintertime, the number goes down because they, they find a way to get inside somewhere so they don't freeze. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. All of this without federal or state funding. One of the most profitable and unique is the annual Dancing for the Shelter event. As they usually say, I don't dance, I've never danced, I'm uncomfortable dancing. It's, it's not in my comfort zone. And, but usually, uh, most of the time, they agree to do it because they say, Mickey, if it'll help the homeless shelter, I'll do it. And that's, that's the primary goal to help the homeless shelter. So we just finished uh, the, uh, we were told by the MAC, we haven't got the final numbers yet, that we uh, were very, very close to sell, sell out, that there was only about 50 seats in the whole room that didn't, didn't sell. So that's really good. McGuire says that here in its fifth year, the shelter is running as strong as ever, with funding coming regularly from personal donations and beyond. McGuire also says the future of the shelter looks bright. My dream is someday to have an additional facility because we have nowhere we can take people with children. And we would like to have a separate, we can't put people with children in our shelter with our other people. We would have to have a different building, a different facility, a different location. So that's pie in the sky. It's gonna take a lot of money, but that's where we would like to go in five years or less, we would hopefully find some good Samaritan that would help us. And we've had such generosity from this, this community. You never know what door is gonna to open tomorrow. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Kempton.